19th. I'll start with 2017 and then 2015. You won't hear of 2016 and 14 because, well, they don't exist. Okay, from 2017. Some things should not happen, but they do. The Australian broadcaster, ABC, has taken some partisan positions on many issues. One issue is anthropogenic global warming, AGW. A Freedom of Information request given to them asked for their articles on AGW showing this skeptical position. In two decades of discussion, they have not produced any. They have similar so-called balanced positions on many issues. News.com.au journalist Matt Young has a fake news article on the Mueller investigation of Trump's administration. He manages to get it wrong on every partisan point. Russia did not interfere in the U.S. election. There is no revelation Trump asked Comey to drop the investigation. Trump has not shared classified information with Russia. The issue is that Trump is fighting the culture wars and draining the swamp. Trump is winning. The swamp is attempting to raise hysteria to weaken Trump's resolve. One day, a freedom of information request may go to a mainstream media asking why the Trump presidency has produced an effective administration which has made America great again and where were the early articles acknowledging the brilliant moves. But they won't exist because partisan news, fake news, have not produced them. Last week, I wrote about my disbelief that the awful Andrews government was to dig a hole in the middle of Melbourne and disrupt pedestrians for a year leading into the 2018 election. I said I would link an article if it existed about the $9.5 billion project. For $500 million more, work could be done by boring underground deep enough to not have to close streets. For $200 million more, another station could be made too. But Andrews is keen to do something and spend $9.5 billion without wasting $700 million more. The project is St Kilda Road and Turak Road. Aspects of the project I link here. It is as bad as I say. Parks and nature strips will have old growth trees killed for the work and protesters who come from interstate, even Western Australia, to protest over developments which harm trees will not complain about this project because Andrews runs an Australian Labour Party government.